Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you back to Iron Editors number five, the photo editing showdown. Joining me now are the competitors for this week. We have some of the old favorites, some of the best of, our strong iron competitors. They'll be joining us. It'll be a, it'll be a light group on this Super Bowl weekend. And we have a special treat, and we're mixing it up a little bit differently this week. Uh, so it should be fun. Last week, uh, we did uh, landscapes, and we had quite a few competitors. It was a good time had by all. Uh, we have the pictures all up on, uh, up on the photo editing showdown page on Google+. And uh, it's there. People uh, go and vote for some of their favorite edits. There were six images, and so people plus one their favorite from each of the different pictures, their favorite edit. And we had quite a few people uh, go in and plus one. We had over 100 shares of the album itself, making it to uh, Google Plus's What's Hot section. Uh, we hope that this week, uh, not only for those that are joining us right now and, and watching the show, uh, but those that will later watch the YouTube video uh, that you enjoy this show and find a lot of uh, neat new tricks and information about all these different programs that we're using like Lightroom, Photoshop, and Picasa and, and, that, uh, and that you see some of the neat creativity in the final results here on the video. Uh, it's a little harder to check but later we, you'll be able to see all those pictures. Anyways, let's get to it. Let's introduce and, uh, and say hello to our, our guests, the people that have been with us quite a bit here. We've got first uh, with us every single show, Scott Deadweiler. Thank you again, Trebek. How's it going, Scott? How was your uh, Super Bowl day? It was peachy. <laughs> it was an uh, entertaining time. And uh, I am ready to battle. Nice. Ready to battle again. Yes. All right. And then uh, also with us every time is Shirley Lowe. What do you know? Hey, Jarvis. So I'm going to be celebrating show number five with a five button mouse. <laughs> Late. Show us that again. A five button mouse for show number five. <laughs> five buttons. How many do I have? Well, let me click on myself first. I have no buttons on my mouse. <gasps> I have eight. Oh, we have to save it for the eighth show. Three, four, five. I don't know. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> Something like that. Anyways, and um, another uh, frequent contender. How many shows you been on, Jeff? Number four. Right now. <laughs> it's number four. Number four. Number four. Rock on. Hey kids, rock and roll. And uh, joining us in a squarish box is Al Nereza. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I may have to reboot and rejoin you. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. Hey, you reboot? That's for, for weenies. Re I know, right? I know. I, I have a no reboot rule in this household. Okay, well, well, we've got a couple of things, uh, so you could uh, you could reboot during then. But last week's results, might as well say them uh, before you take off. The drum roll, please. So we took the top images, and the top image we gave three points to. The second place image we gave two points to. And the th third place image we gave 1.2 based on votes. And that's not always going to be this way. Sometimes we'll have guest judges. But coming in third place last week um, is a tie. A tie for third place. And I get feedback. But anyways, uh, we have Matt and Dave. Dave okay. Beffer. Tied with five points. Five points, third place. Yay. Second place, we have him here today. 
ladies and gentlemen, third pl or second place is none other than Jeff Rudnow. <laughs> oh, wait, How does it feel, Jeff? How does Two, it feel? second place. Second place. Oh, Going for first this week. You had a first place? Oh, wait, no, wait. Jeff, you had a first place, a second place, and a third place. It was interesting to see how people edited the arch last week. Uh, that, was that was your picture. Edit. That was my picture. I lost on my picture, but ended up in second place. So it was fun. It was good to see what people did. With you did show. quite the edit on that uh, that picture. Of, I of pushed it. Picture. I pushed it. I pushed all the pictures last week. So, yes. Uh, yep. A little now, different strategy. It'll be it'll be interesting when we have a uh, guest judges in there to see if we we kind of know how to uh, play to a general audience, but how about playing to to different people will be will be interesting. We'll see. So, um, and then we do have first place with us today with a first place, a first place, and a second place. It is Al Abnereza. Hey, thank you. Woot, woot, woot. I don't really know what Al, to say. Al, 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 do you have your speech prepared? Not really. No speech. speeches. Thank speech. you very much for the opportunity. There were very, there were Good images and challenging, and I uh, just did the best I could do, I guess. Oh, so diplomatic. We recently. love you, man. We oh, love really, you. I don't have to say. Oh, yeah. You know, I usually talk a lot, but I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> You're speechless. Get it? <laughs> you like it that way, Jarvie. I know. I <laughs> Doesn't happen often, maybe, huh? Right, I know. Okay. So I would like to introduce this week's theme. I know that you guys have uh, checked out some of the pictures. Um, but this week's theme is, is important because I have just announced a new photo walk for March, the end of March in Utah, the Festival of Colors Utah Photo Walk. It's a week-long event. Here, or week long, sorry, a weekend event here in Utah, uh, in which uh, Friday we're, we're uh, all about through uh, downtown Salt Lake taking pictures, doing a photo walk. We might do either the Great Salt Lake or uh, the Salt Flats earlier in the, or uh, some other part in the day. And then Saturday and Sunday are the Festival of Colors. So I thought, why not make that our theme? I'd, uh, let's, uh, let me show a little bit more about this uh, festival. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Here are some of the pictures. Boom. Some really cool pictures. Have you guys ever been to something like this? Definitely they, not around mm -hmm. here. No. They have these fest. They have these uh, times where they go and throw these colors, and it's a Indian uh, festival, Holly, and they do it all around the country. Oh, but wow. this one in Utah is the largest one, with uh, over ten to fifteen. There's about ten to fifteen thousand people, maybe more. It depends on the weather. Um, so lots and lots of pictures, lots and lots of people. And, uh, yeah, like I said, one of the largest ones in the world, uh, and it happens in a small farming community in Utah. That's awesome. So I have chosen ten pictures from this event, and I'll make the thumbnails a little bit larger for everyone to see. And so uh, let's get some initial thoughts and reactions. Uh, Scott. You've been with us for a while. What do you think of uh, of this week's set? Well, I, I tend to like to alter the photos in kind of a pretty violent manner to kind of differentiate myself from what other people might do with, say, color adjustment, saturation, and so on. And, and this week has kind of got me uh, into a corner because there's not a lot of um, there's not a lot of leeway. The photos are pretty tightly cropped in, showing a singular subject or focus on a crowd and there's not much uh, there's not much area for me to kind of play with 
Um, yeah, I'm really hungry. Adding Kevin. birds. Not that I would ever do that, but <laughs> like if I had to want to add birds, I'm going to have a rough time doing it. So I'm going to have to kind of grab some different tools out of the bag here and see what happens. All right, what do you think, uh, Jeff, number two player last week? What are your thoughts on this week? Color. It's all about color. It's all about kind of these moments here. I'm looking at the uh, – everybody's having a good time. So it's really going to be about kind of focusing in, finding the subject within the frame, and, and just kind of trying to, to figure out how to, you know, enhance that, how to, how to show what's going on at this place, how to um, really kind of – for me, there's there's what ten total photos. My strategy is going to be a little bit different. It's going to have to be take it down to like one or two, focus on those, and then go. Well, forward. wait for it because it gets exciting right now. You ready for this? Oh, here it comes. Okay, so I want each one of you, and I'm including myself. So there'll be each one of us will choose one picture, and of and then we'll we'll have five pictures in the end. And the other five we will disregard and no one can edit those. So you, you have ten pictures to choose from, and I am going to start with whoever would like to pick their picture first. Everyone gets to work on these pictures. We all select one, but it has to be different between all the competitors. Yes, exactly. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, Al had an aha moment. Al, go ahead and choose which picture you would like this to be. Well, you've thrown in like a wild card image in there. It doesn't quite fit the, well, I mean, it does fit the theme, but not visually. Um, I was going to be the rebel and pick that, which you, or you're you on. You read my mind. Um, that's a good one. That's a tough one. you got to um, know your competitors, too. They're all, think, they're all. Wait, is Scott going to go? Pick this one anyways. This is all really good stuff, too. I actually like a lot of these shots. I'm a color nut. Um, I'm going to pick the dude with the Kanye West shades. Here it is. Image nice. number one has been selected. We'll mark it in blue. Do I go next? I got my pick. Yep, you got it. You're next, right. dude. I'll do number two, the one with pretty much just a big cloud of smoke. You see a slight hand and maybe a forehead coming out of there. Yeah, awesome. This picture is I became known. I like to think that I became known as the Festival of Colors photographer because of this image. So do me well, you guys. Do me well. This one is shown in the temple. They have large print of this one. It was used in many news organizations. That year, this was the very first year I went, 2008. I like your selection. Okay, now let's go with Scott. I'm going to go with the next to the last image, the one with the crowd throwing the paint in the air. Oh, he doesn't choose the bride. No, I'm, I'm, choosing the, I'm not choosing the bride on purpose. I'm throwing a wild card in there because I think everyone's okay. expecting me to choose the bride, so I'm going to shorten it down. <laughs> All right, there it is. We've got we've got the crowd, Shirley Low. I'm I'm letting myself choose last because I'm me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, this is a tough deci decision, but I'm gonna have to go with the one where it's kind of like a mosh pit and that girl with her feet in the air. Yeah, that. All one. right, there we go. Yeah. It is chosen, and now, and now I guess the the question is, which one? Do I'm I want you guys? To. Well, now here's the issue. You've edited these before. How do we know you're not just gonna take your previous edit? <laughs> I trust you, sir. Oh, I could. I mean, I'll pick my previous edit if I want to. <laughs> but I don't probably want to because I only edit for like 20 seconds, anyways. That's so true. I'd love to see this one edited a few different ways. I'm thinking more attraction for the event. And I'm going to go with this one, the statue. Nice. So there you guys go. Have you got them all selected on your end? So we're editing only two photos for the entire duration? No, we got five. One. Yeah. Oh. Five pictures. Oh, we can edit any of these five that we selected. Right. The others are discarded. The others are discarded. And you can oh, gotcha. So I thought I had to work on this one. Okay. okay. Yeah, yep. okay, okay. Okay, so it's the... So we're only allowed to edit 
the images that we pick, that the group yeah. picks. Sorry, I didn't explain that better. Did you guys need to no, go find with your selections? I got it. I'm just trying to, so it's the legs in the air, the cloud, the glasses. I have to write this down. Yep, and the Indian section. Just tag them, Charlie. That's only four, is there, and then the one with the, the overhead, right? Correct. That's five, yeah. Just delete. Okay. Very nice. You can delete the other ones if you don't want them. And we might as well uh, make sure that we uh, have people say hello if they're uh, watching. We know a lot of people watch afterwards, but if you are watching, say hello and perhaps share this to uh, your friends, and uh, we are about ready to have some fun. Well, Jarvi, I have to reboot, though, if, uh, if that's okay. All right. Uh, okay, do it fast. I will give my computer a timeout uh, after the show. Uh, and send it to the corner of the room. Are you are you doing it? Yep. You doing it? You're doing it? You're doing it? Well. Be right back. Okay. So let's talk strategy while he's gone. Hurry, <laughs> <laughs> right, because we start the time right when you get back in. Okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking black and white. This is my week really shying with black and white. So I'm thinking. Uh, Yes, yes. Absolutely. Great job. Wow, I should try that too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's such a great idea. Or sepia. I think it's sepia. Antique, yes. Yes, yes. How about you, Shirley? Are you going to try uh, some HDR? Well, I'm still going to go with the costume again. So, yeah. I'm surprised at that, actually. I mean, you've, you've kind of, I felt like you've kind of been handcuffed this entire time. So I'm like waiting for the Shirley to come out with, with gloves on, you know? Well, thanks, Matt. I see it as a learning experience because I just want to see, it's a character building to be using it. So, I mean, I, I figure it's me until I figure out how to use it and let it shine. It's up to me to figure that let out. Let it shine, let it shine, <laughs> let it shine. Do we have any squirrel wagers this time? Are we starting? Oh, Did we start? By the way, Jennifer says hello, everyone. Jennifer Lucio. And Dale says hi, everyone. Andy hello. Stewart, who was in the pregame with us. And when you want to come in, in in future episodes and you want to be one of the guest editors, uh, we don't have any guest editors. Everyone here is kind of old hat. But uh, uh, just jump into the pregame and we'll help get you set up with it. And, and you can play along. Um, we got Joanna's also saying hello. And Erica, Gary, and uh Spartak. Kagram Mayanayan. Wait, let me try that again. This Kagramanyan. And uh, anyways, so it should be a great show. We might have to just start without Al because we got to keep the ball going. People are out east and it's getting late, huh? It is. Okay, when, uh, when uh, he gets back, we have one little other... Uh, uh, a little uh, curveball to throw yeah. in. Can't use our left hand. The entire time. <laughs> you can't lose. What are, what are some other ones uh, for future episodes? Uh, One eye must be closed for an eye patch. You have to wear, for National Pirate Day, maybe eye patch. And That's uh, September 13th. Yes, I, I know that. Yeah. Um, how about you have to turn your monitor off and work by sound only? Click maybe on Thanksgiving or on... Uh, on Valentine's, it's it's a heart theme. Everything to do with hearts. I think we should have to hide something in every image. Well, you can't write that in Lightroom, though. So just... Oh, I did that. Actually, I I hid I hid a couple things in some pictures that someone was going to use in a book. <laughs> and I hid like Jarvie is my hero, like really small. I wrote it really small in the book in the picture. I doubt he'll watch this video, so I'm all right <laughs> saying it. There was a there was a, a similar situation. I had a uh, a shoot for a, a clothing company, and they kind of want the they honestly I don't know what this this fad was, but they always had like the you could see the band of the underwear on like you know model you know like we don't have the jeans pulled up just far enough, or you could see like the band of the boxers or whatever, and it said like you know fruit of bloom or whatever. And I replaced this lucky male model. And I did that on all the pictures. No one noticed. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, and if you're watching, uh, 
go to uh, my page, Scott Jarvie, uh, my profile on Google+, and uh, I'll keep on refreshing that to get some commentary and to uh, gather questions to ask people, and uh, maybe they'll issue some challenges, and they'll say, hey, I will, I will vote for your picture if you write my name on the top right-hand corner. See if you can get some votes that way. <laughs> One vote. Um, and, uh, yeah, so some questions and uh, commentary and uh, root for people. Say, yay, Shirley Lowe is my hero. And I Shirley Lowe is my hero. Everything. Oh, you guys are my heroes. All right, well, we might just have to start without Mr. Al and have him jump in a little bit later. So let me throw the last curveball. You, uh, we have five pictures, and I am setting the time limit for not 60 minutes. It is going to be 50 minutes this week. 50 minutes, and you all have 10 minutes of guest editing or guest <laughs> Guest co-hosting. Ten minutes. Wow. So that means you have 40 minutes to edit the five pictures. Here we go. And Al has less because he's not here. <laughs> so that's all right. That's his handicap since he, he took first place the last couple of weeks. Are you guys ready? Yes. And like we begin every show with a countdown and a drum roll... Three, two, one, let's get ready to rumble! Go, <laughs> <laughs> go. Nope, nope. Yeah! Yeah, there we go. Too much. We're shorter this week. I don't know. There's all the moving around that, uh... Wait! That really sucks. I should be saying, let's get ready to edit. 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 It loses something in the transition. Edit. <laughs> hmm. I'll think about it. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll tell us. Those watching will, will let us know what they should do. Okay. So we're starting off with uh, me. I'll go ahead and host us for a little bit. And right off the bat, I think uh, we're going to go and take a look at what they're deciding to go to first. Here's Scott's here, his first picture. And Jeff is going to this. Wait, Jeff, that's not one of the pictures. That's not. Nope. Let me not edit that one. Be honest. Uh, the other group is the one with the hands in the air, waving up like you just don't care. So I have these four and then the one with the hand in there. All right. Yeah. Shirley Lowe's going to uh, the hand, the single hand. Let me tell you about this one, Shirley. Please do. Uh, back in the day, back all the way back in 2008, uh, the festival was much smaller. There was only maybe four or 5,000. And they did it uh, right adjacent to the uh, Lotus Temple, the, the Krishna Temple. And so, therefore, I could take pictures from on top of the temple directly down onto the crowd. And when this cloud, when they count down, three, two, one, zero, it goes off like a bomb, like an atom bomb. It just, like, from no chalk colors in the air to this, like, boom, way up 30, 40 feet in the air, this atomic bomb cloud. It is Pretty uh, amazing. So this is that moment, and I was just click, 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 click. Um, and this, I later on I saw this image, you know, and uh, it's pretty fun. Yeah, it's amazing. So you are uh, playing around with the uh, different colors, yeah. and uh, we've got a uh, Jeff is in here. Jeff, you are doing something a little different, aren't you? I am. So I just pulled this one up after selecting the wrong image. But this is the one that I selected. And for me, I think there's a lot of potential here. You said this was one of the, this ran for the festival. Is that correct? 
Well, they used it for a lot of things that next year, and uh, I know that uh, it was in the news a little bit and uh, used by a couple small newspapers. And it just be, kind of became my favorite and the kind of iconic image. It definitely captures, I think, <laughs> with the moment there. It's it's pretty amazing to see. And this is, this is a, of course, a raw image, so this was captured right in cam camera. Yeah, so here here's an example... Uh, well, if you can hit the, are you in, well, you're not in, in Lightroom, but, you know, before and after? Can you yeah. show us a before and after? Um, no, I have, I'm still in Photoshop. I have, okay. There's no after, I guess, in Lightroom yet, so, but I can in a bit here. All right, and we got Scott. He is in Photoshop as well. <laughs> And uh, let's catch uh, Al up on what we've got going on once he's officially in. Al Ibnereza. Hi, guys. Sorry about We that. have started. We started five, four minutes ago. That's okay. So, you know, you got the five images, and here's the, the last two curveballs, Al. Yeah. It is a 50-minute time period this week. And... Each one of the five of us has ten minutes of co-hosting. So I'll be hosting, you know, I'll be co-hosting the whole entire time if you want to talk to me. But uh, each one of us will be spending ten minutes to focus on conversing. So, in the end, 40 minutes of editing. Okay. And, uh, okay, so we'll, we'll be looking forward to seeing which picture you go to first. Uh, they are all on the same picture. Is that because they? It's all all the same. It's the first picture in the series. Not yeah, right. that's why I picked it. For me, it was just it was the one that I was drawn to initially. So, wanted to start there with the time crunch, a little bit of strategy, I guess, if you can call it that. Okay, Jeff, why why do you have it so small on your screen right now? Uh, for me, I had to pull back a little bit. I was uh, trans free transforming the layer, uh, thinking about bringing in, there's the one arm, thinking about bringing in multiple arms. So for me, I needed to zoom out a little bit just to get the free transform square here. Um, I'll be zooming back in, doing more detail work as I, as I make that decision. So uh, free transforming. How do you think that'll help you out? Uh, it's not so much about the free transform as, as much as duplicating the layers. We've got the one arm that's jumping out here at me. I can do a quick free transform, and then if I double click and hit flip horizontal, if I want to, if I go ahead and delete this layer mask here, so you can see, I have to enter and then let's see, delete layer mask and bring the opacity up, you'll basically see I was able to flip the arm here Yes. through that. So that's what I'm kind of playing around with is maybe these hands are reaching for each other through the dust cloud. That's my transfer oh, right now. Interesting. Not to give too much away. Well, maybe, maybe no one else will do it because I think they're copycats, so maybe it was a good idea to tell your, your vision. <laughs> now Scott will go, oh, I can't do that. I have to do something. <laughs> Isn't that correct, Scott? That's okay. I, I, uh, I'm planning my bomb for another image. This is, uh, I like this image quite a bit, but I think I'm done with it now. I'm, I'm got seven layers down, and it's going to go back into Lightroom now for its final push. All right. Okay, let's go over to Shirley Lowe for a little bit of uh, what's going on there in, in the world of Picasso. Shirley, tell us what you're thinking. Yeah, so I'm on the hand photo as well. I'm trying to figure out what this photo is trying to say. I mean, on one hand, it could go kind of like a drowning feel, but I'm not sure that is in line with the festival. And on the other hand, it's all, it kind of feels like enlightenment. She's reaching towards something, and she finally almost is there. Do you think that is a woman's hand or a man's hand? I don't know the answer. Um, I don't Definitely know. It is, uh, it is female. Oh, is it? Really? Yep. We got one man, two female. I'd always kind of consider. I've never even thought about the gender of the hand, but uh, that's definitely a man's hand. If you I'd always in, thought. That's, look at the fingernails. There's hair. Uh, but look at the fingernails. 
Are we talking about the same picture? It's difficult to say because I, I guess we're projecting our own thoughts of what males and females should look like. But yeah, I mean, the gender constructs that we're using, obviously the nails is a good telltale sign and the muscles in the hand and the forearm and the clothing, you can kind of see the sleeve. Kind of looks feminine, but there's something about it that also looks more like a male. Well, we'll ask our viewers back at home uh, what they think of, of the pictures, whether they think it's male or female. And we've got a pretty decent conversation going up over on the, the comments page. Let's see if there's any questions. They're just uh, chatting amongst each other and uh, enjoying the show, from what I can tell. All right, so we have come down to uh, almost 10 minutes off the clock. Wow. And at that, at that point, yeah. we will be uh, in inviting someone to uh, jump in as the first co-host, in which case I will also uh, take the opportunity to open up a Lightroom and try my hand at it. This is kind of pretty fun to, to have just the five of us this week. A different dynamic, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. It, uh, it changes things up on the, on the show presentation of it as well, because we're, uh, we're getting to spend a little bit more time viewing what people are doing. Scott, tell us what you're doing. I am curving the color channels in this image to boost it uh, not in a non-artificial manner. So I want to try and pull the colors forward, but I think the saturation tool is kind of a bit vindictive. So I'm, uh, I'm boosting it using a completely different method. Three, two, one, and time for our next person to jump in. And I'm going to go ahead and just call on Shirley Lowe. All right, let me see. Shirley Lowe, would you, uh, yeah, would you uh, like to join us? And just when you are talking about someone, just uh, talk, tell their name, and I will make sure to jump over to their screen. Definitely. So I'll go right to left again, uh, just because we usually go left to right. So Jarvie, when your screen is up, there you go. Would you like to tell us about why you chose this photo as your first photo to edit? Because my, my cursor was closest to it. <laughs> Honestly, that is the reason. Um, and yeah, I got it into develop mode, and I've got my tablet out, and uh, I am going to. I mean, I, you know what? Save some time. I'm going to use a preset. Great. Can you tell us a little bit about the background behind it, since you're I believe you're the one who took the photo? Uh, okay, so this kid apparently makes these glasses, apparently, and uh, he was very interested in taking pictures. When you're at the festival, you kind of just wander around, taking pictures of people. Uh, you're usually a little bit farther away so that you don't get too trashed. Um, but as things start to calm down after the throwing of the, of the chalk dust, whatever it is, um, you can kind of get in there closer, take a few pictures of people. If they were, if they were right and smack dab in the middle and the thick of it all, the problem is, is that the colors all turn this muddy color. But if they were not, then you get these nice, just you know, uh, separate, separated colors. You know, a little bit in the hair here and there. Wow, I can understand. It's a little hard to talk and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll move. We'll keep moving left then, so we can talk to more people. Ah, oh, now you know. Now you know. Now I know. know. <laughs> All right, Getweiler Scott. <laughs> well, I'm just about to this image here, so I'm gonna I'm trying to think of what I want to do with it exactly. I like the picture of the dude in the glasses. Right. Um, first thing I always do is duplicate the layer before I even start to consider what I want to play with, because I'm probably gonna end up trashing it. Um, and now I'm just going to stare at it for a while. I and mean, truthfully, I really don't have any idea where I want to go with it. But I think, um, I don't know. I want to, the trouble with this competition is not so much, you know, I can adjust the saturation and the hue and then add a vignette and be done. But that's going to kind of mingle with everyone else's pictures. And I tend to be more of a disturbing person and want to kind of mess with the picture. 
and I've got to kind of think of where I want to go with it. I'm not really, I'm not really sure. Um, I know I'm not, I'm not very, uh, I'm not very thrilling today. I'm like, mm -hmm. this is really difficult for me because I feel like I'm out of my element here. It's all good. I mean, we'll move on so we can let you focus on your photo. So we'll move left again to Jeff Reidenauer. Yes, how's it going? Good. How are you doing, Jeff? I'm doing great. So can you tell us a little bit about what you're working on here? Uh, so this is that, still that first image, that uh, the one that I initially selected. And I'm still working on it. I saw these two hands kind of reaching for each other. And brought it into Photoshop, kind of mirrored the image, I guess you could say, brought it back into Lightroom, and now I'm back in Photoshop because there's uh, a few more steps I think I want to um, try here, see if it'll work. I'm not going to give it too much time just because we are on a little bit more of a time crunch, but um, maybe adding some different brushes to this and, and seeing what I can do with that. Yeah, now it's really unique uh, how you have this brush you're using. Can you tell us some of the viewers who aren't as familiar with Photoshop, how you came up with this pattern and how you chose it? Uh, so if you go to, to Photoshop, you have your, your brushes palette. There's a lot of different brushes there. I don't have nearly as many as I think probably a lot of people do. I don't use these brushes too often. You know, you can have a brush that'll do anything from curly hair to, you know, rain to snow. There's a lot of different options out there. Um, and I don't have a lot of that with me. I was looking this more as like graffiti, I guess, a little bit with the color, a little bit of a graphic element with the hands, um, and maybe trying to play around with bringing a little bit of um, kind of street art into this, I guess. Do you have any street artists that you look up to that you want to channel some of their vision and style into this photo that you're editing right now? I do. I, I wouldn't say that I'm trying to channel. I'm trying to make this... You know, I don't think I have enough time really to, to bring a lot of that into it. So for me, it's going to be pretty much an original piece by the time I'm done. I wouldn't say there's an influence here. And to be honest, as I'm doing this, um, I'm going to add a quick overlay here and see. see what we got. I think I'm probably going to not go that direction now that I'm looking at it. So always worth trying, though. Yeah, definitely. You can always do and do. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's keep moving left. And Al Abareza, you're also a multi-time winner, just like uh, Scott Detweiler here. So what are, what are some of your uh, things that you want to share with the audience and what you've learned from the past shows and your wins that you're applying to this photo right now? Um, I think personally, uh, uh, I don't know, what I go for is um, a lot less filtering and altering the image, but more try to enhance or amplify and bring out the emotion that may live in a shot um, and trying to convey that by just light and colors really trying to you know keep the editing as simple as possible especially because we have a limited amount of time so you know uh, I, you can we can always get really um, involved with the picture and and do all kinds of really cool things but um, I think when time is limited what I try to stick to is just trying to amplify any message or emotion or a feeling or mood that may live within the image. So um, that's pretty much what I'm trying to go for here. Okay, so I noticed you, you, you choose Lightroom a lot. So for users and viewers that don't really aren't familiar with it, what are some things that you think that they should learn for sure for beginners using Lightroom? Um, well, that's that's a good question, but I, I have found that it really comes down to everyone's personal style that tends to be extremely different, which I actually find fascinating. And a cool thing about Lightroom, because being that it's non-linear and non-destructive and um, uh, not too flexible, though, um, you, you, everybody just kind of ends up figuring things out and uh, you know according to their own style. Um, I wouldn't really honestly have anything particular to say, don't do this, don't do that. It's just like, yeah, whatever works for you, whatever. I, I would say get familiar, obviously, as a tool, get familiar with it, um, get comfortable with it, get to know the keyboard shortcuts. That'll kind of, if you, especially if you're in a situation like this um, where you're in a time bind, I find that, at least personally, uh, using the mouse a little too much tends to slow people down. But, again, that comes down to people's personal um, method of interaction with software. So right. that is my opinion. 
Very nice. So I see Jeff Reidenauer has a uh, interesting tone going on in, in his photo. Can you tell us about what you've done here? Jeff? So all these photos are pretty similar as far as the color palette goes. I brought, actually went ahead and copied the first image I was working on, took that and used it as a new layer in the second image I'm working on because I liked what was going on there. So if I go ahead and take the main image out, if I clear that layer, you'll see I have the color I have the image from the first one that I'm kind of overlaying on top and playing around with. So I'm using the color palette from one and trying to apply that to another, basically. Very nice. Well, thanks for your explanation. How about Scott Detwaller? What is your take on this same image? On the, uh, the Indian Idol there? Uh, the one that you're working on? With the oh, the one I'm working on. Um, it's got a lot of red in it. It's got way too much red in it. And I think that's what Scott was referring to is that kind of muddled color that's occurred here in the thick of it. And it seems to be just dominating the image. I'm just now working on how I want to get rid of it. And uh, removing the saturation in general is not working. It's just too brutal. Uh, so this is kind of the, the path I've started to take is kind of nursing the reds out of this image a bit, I think, um, but not too much. I so obviously still wanted to, uh, still want to portray what went on, but I just want to kind of relax some of that muddy color like you referred to. Um, so I mean, I went back to Lightroom. I, I did my work I needed to do in Photoshop. These can be very quick for me because, as I said, there's not a lot for me to goof around with today. So, uh, <laughs> But that's a good thing, I guess. You know, it's time, time to just kind of edit the photo the way that it is and stop kind of playing playing with it. But that's what I like to do. Well, I think, I think a couple people are goofing around pretty good. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm just, today for me, I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, I'm, Experimenting a bit. Are you trying to psych us out? Mm. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I think it's time to pass the torch back to Darby now. Let's see. Oh, zero, right there. Perfect. Actually, we're going to be nice to uh, Al and let him finish up. Uh, you know, not not finish talking at the end. So we're going to go to you next. The point being, we're going to you next, so that when the time runs out that you are not presenting. How about that, Al? Thank you. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. So that means me, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? No. We, wait. Wait, who are we going to? We're going to go to Al. Oh, Al, of course. That was all muddled. Oh, we're going to go to me. <laughs> that was a very muddled description. Yes. It was yes. all a muddled edit. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay. So, let's jump to Mr. Rittenauer. Yes, um, right now. I noticed you gravitated a lot towards these, um, the, the fiery orange, pink, and red, which happen to be some of my favorite colors. Um, why, um, I mean, I don't, want, I don't want to repeat Shirley's brilliant questions, but uh, I do find it fascinating why, do you, why you gravitate toward that sp particular tone. For these images, I mean, that's the dominant, that's what's standing out to me. I mean, you look at this, and I've seen images similar to this, not necessarily out of Utah, but I mean, you've got this powder flying around and just the atmosphere in these images, this orange. You know, I could easily go and do something, uh, I don't know, I could probably pick a, a preset that's in here, let's see. Um, yesteryear, I don't use this too often, but you get that feeling. It's almost like old Polaroid, like the, the tones, the color that you're getting out of this, it reminds me of film. I don't, I don't know why. I could add a little bit of blue to it. Um, I don't know. It just These digital files to me feel like something a little bit um, more analog. So I'm going towards that, I think. Right. Excellent. OK. Um, keep this short and simple. Mr. Detweiler, mm -hmm. jumping on to our, 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 our uh, Kanye West subject. Uh, what do you think? What do you gravitate to towards uh, in this image? What's what what what's what's of interest to you in this one? Well, I uh, I like the crop in this one quite a bit. The, the good old fashioned rule of thirds. I think this this photo was was uh, taken in camera perfectly, which is which is interesting because I kind of you know learning lessons over over the years of shooting, always leaving a little bit of room to crop um, for later has been one of those things that I. I've kind of learned the school of hard knocks to learn to do, and uh, and in this one, you know, I can appreciate the skill of the photographer because it was taken, 
No, seriously, yeah, I, I, I'm a, I don't I know. I was thinking, but apparently, <laughs> I, seriously, I, 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 I don't know. I apparently still, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, seriously, I mean, I, I look at it and I'm like, okay, this was this was shot, you know, I wouldn't, I didn't have to adjust the crop. I straightened it a bit, uh, just because I feel that I want the the horizontal and the glasses to be horizontal. But that's just you know me. Uh, but I, I really, you know, I love the crop of the photo. Obviously, the glasses where everything is going. The focus of the of this image is those glasses. But um, I, I mean, it just that's just one of the things that I really appreciated when I looked at the image. I was like, oh damn, look at that, you know, because I saw how many times I'd taken a picture and I wish I'd panned out just a bit or. I wish I had a little bit more to the right or the left of the subject, and I really like this one. So that was one of the things I really appreciated about this that may not have been, you know, obvious to everyone else who hasn't experienced that level of pain I have. Right. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, uh, let's go to Shirley Lowe. Shirley Lowe, um, are you still continuing to use Picasa as your tool of choice? Yes, I am, Al. <laughs> And and are you are you finding yourself becoming more and more comfortable with this because that's really all that matters honestly? Uh, are you able to kind of go go through the you know get to what you're 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 thinking of in your mind um, with with Picasso fairly fairly easily? Right. So I mean, each time I try to do a little bit different, it Picasso actually does hold its own a little bit. For the last few, the, some of the photos were able to hold its own using Picasso. And other times, I, I know there's an obvious way to edit the photo, but I kind of want to just see what else I can do and not go for the obvious choice. So that's some of what I've been experimenting here in these editing. Fantastic. The path least taken is oftentimes uh, the path that tends to surprise and, 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 and amuse and amaze people. So I, I commend that. Um, Mr. Jarby, um, well, you're fairly familiar with these shots. What is the well, challenge? I've never for spent you? more than a minute on any of them. That's very true. So, is that what you find uh, to be slightly challenging? In that now you now you're having to spend a bit more time. Now I'm going to have to compete against some people and with their funky edits and hands going everywhere and textures and <laughs> and but I'm you know I'm still just sticking in Lightroom and here I wanted to show this one. Here's the before and uh, I went with this for the after. Oh, you just stole my edit right there, too. <laughs> really? Yeah. Don't, don't even try, then. It's funny. We just edited the same exact way. <laughs> Mine will be better. But... And then I went with this after his whole talk about it being uh, nicely shot. I was like, i got to do something different, so I cropped it. Uh, no. I introduced quite a bit of... Uh, 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 split tones and some brushes with some colors and anyways so excellent and that. excellent well and on that note I will I will turn it back to you sir wait let's see really yeah oh yeah you guys are perfect timing on that okay Jeff right now hey we're we're a we're a mean crowd literally it said it said ex wait no wait no you have three minutes left <laughs> do I. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going Three minutes. back. Don't even worry, Jeff. It's still, it's still Al. <laughs> You're messing with me, man. No, um, it's at 23. We minutes today versus last time we each had five. Yes. Oh, that's why. Yep. Uh, so, um... Hmm. So you two now I'm gonna pose a I'm gonna pose a challenge to 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 Jeff Rittenauer. and yes. my challenge my question for you is that what do you think is the main subject of these images? It's different in all of them. For me, in the beginning with the first two, it was definitely the uh, atmosphere, the powder, the pigment, the dye, whatever you want to call it. It was it was those. But in these last couple, I have a clear subject. It's, there's an individual here. There's um, a statue. So. For me, it's 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 the it's the event, right. um, but in, but in some of these, you, you you know, obviously very clearly in the one I'm working in here, we have this individual. Um, it's more about him and his experience there rather than the overall ambiance of the entire event. Do you, do you not feel that the the backdrop is is very overwhelmingly strong and powerful and and as a, as a theme in these images? I do, and like I said, in the first couple, actually, you know what, everything but this one that I'm working in now, I, I think you could say that that is true. Um, with this one, the depth of field, I mean, is very clearly isolating this individual. If I move over to this image where we've got the group of people all throwing at the same time, 
um, it's a group experience. And I think that that's, you know, right. with the exception of the statue and the individual with the glasses, I think, you know, we can tell a story about experience, but then I think we also need to know about the individual. So. Valid, great, excellent, good, good explanation. Um, Scott Bedweiler, mm -hmm. what is, uh, what, what, what do you, what are you thinking uh, with, with this image here, with, with all this matte color pixels flying, flying around? Uh, great opportunity for black and white, I think. Uh, it's just not enough <laughs> black and whites going on around here. Uh, Fantastic. That's you know, I want to make sure that I represent that, you know, the love. The street photographer look here, I think, would be... Uh, no, I, I think there's a lot of pink going on, so I'm going to uh, throw a little bit of a dent in that. Uh, my tablet is broken. My Wacom tablet is not being recognized by my system, so I am 100% mouse today, which is... Is that from the beginning it was that way? Yeah, I, I have not been able to use it. I don't use it all the time. I use it when I do certain functions, and, and I went to go reach for it, and it is unresponsive. So I am uh, kind of fit to be tied here. I might actually try and troubleshoot it a bit. Uh, in fact, I'm going to try and do that right now. I'm gonna, I have to do it, I guess. Must figure it out. <laughs> well, then I guess we will leave you for... for you want to you wanna jump in now with your technical difficulties? Uh, give me a minute. Al's got 30 seconds left. Well, I was about to, I, I, I mean, I was going to turn it back to you. Uh, your pre-roll into your next segue alone will be 25 seconds long. I know. Get, get, get going to your, to your editing. Yeah. <laughs> over. I've been losing very, um, a lot of time in my technical difficulties. Yeah. Get, get editing. You got 20 minutes left. Oh, man. <laughs> As Pressure's I on. I like it. All right, Scott. What do you think? I'm trying a different uh, different port here. Let's see if I can get this thing to respond. And all here. right, I have a Wacom tablet. Fine. Right, well, it, with that on that note, you are in charge of the hosting. How long I got here? Ten minutes. That means Jeff. I'll be last. For you, you have ten minutes left. All right. Well, let's look at what Jeff is doing right now. Jeff, tell us what you're thinking. Uh oh, mean. <laughs> <laughs> Coming into my last time here. I just pulled this image up. I can flip through if I go to. I'm going to give up a few minutes here because I'm not quite sure what to do with this. I'm going to think about it while I talk. I go into attributes and go to, I think I gave the ones I liked so far, five stars. I've got the mirror image. This one I'm not so good with. That one I'm fine. And that's my final one. So it's really about this one and the last one with the statue at this point in my last 10 minutes. I find that one uh, pretty interesting out of the mix that you have because it's the one that you've kind of gone the opposite direction with. That one is the most desaturated of the images you have present. I have. I have. And for me... I don't know. I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. No. Um, I'm desaturating all my pictures, just so you guys all know. Right, and, yeah. And everyone in the comments are saying, I will vote for desaturated pictures. <laughs> right. <laughs> as, I, as I reset this one. No, I, you know, for me, I, I don't really don't know what to do with that. They're, they're trolling us, I think. <laughs> I think I pretty much just made that up. <laughs> but I will go back to this one, yeah. the one with the statue, and and I, you know, when while we're editing here, it's it's hard to look and see what our fellow competitors are doing. Um, well, I won't uh, I won't pick on you. I I just I just thought that was interesting that when you have completely done uh, uh, just desaturating the others. Okay, surely, <laughs> tell us yeah. what your uh, what your focus here. You seem to be uh, kind of working on a, on a bit of these. Yeah, so I'm also doing the one with everyone dropping all, or flinging the paint up. And I wanted to focus on the hands and the paint and probably the joy of doing it because, you know. Do I'm selective just, color. The what? Selective color. That'll win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone loves selective color. It's true. I'm uh, sorry. I like, uh, yeah, it's an interesting idea. Nice, interesting crop on it, for sure. That would have been a great panorama had you been there to shoot it. That would have been a neat idea. Scott Jarvie. 
I'm going with some selective coloring using a brush to desaturate. Oh, I've got to go to myself now. <coughs> Oops, I didn't go to I didn't go to Shirley that whole time. Sorry about that, guys. Oh no. You can go back to her if you'd like. And it's all good. Okay. And I think uh, in that brush that I've done the selective coloring, I'm totally. Does anyone imagine me doing these types of edits? <laughs> <laughs> My yeah, one. That's half the fun. Is going going out of your element and being out of your element. That's half the challenge, right? Absolutely. That's what makes this a challenge, the Iron Editor's Challenge. Well, I went very much in my element last week, and I didn't win. So. You can't win them all. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm, just, I'm trying a few different colors in the... Al, we are looking at your face and not your screen, sir. Ah, uh, my bad. And let me tell you, this show is painful enough, <laughs> sir. <laughs> hey, I, I actually would agree with I would agree with you. No one should be. Uh, no one should have to ever look at my face. Oh, that's what. Wait, you said that about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> self burn. That's brutal. <laughs> Can't make fun of him now. It's like kind of wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Al, I already did that edit. Sorry. Uh, well. <laughs> Choose something else. Well, uh. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, I, I feel like I have a whole hell of a lot of time left. <laughs> and now I know why Scott is doing this to us, uh, because I really don't have anything to talk about now. Um, you can you know, talk about the Super Bowl yeah. if you want. Dang. I can do what? You can talk about anything. I don't have any good jokes to tell. I'm uh, I'm just watching how people are eliminating the background behind the statue. Um, Wait, don't do that. That was me that did that. Actually, uh, you're uh, you're not the only one. I think three people have done it now since I've been kind of oh. watching. Yeah, it's been kind of a common theme. Uh, I have yet to work on that picture. Saying I think I'm going to jump in there too and do the same thing. Just kind of you know throw my hat into the ring. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I you know it's uh, it's hard to be uh, it's hard to be different in these things. It's just so much that. Uh, there's only so much you can do with them. But that's what I guess what makes this interesting. I like I like a lot of the ways that people are looking at these images. Um, the way that they're saturating or desaturating. I'm not a, a fan of uh, a lot of color in images. I mean, I tend to desaturate mine. I like to add blue. No wonder you're having a rough time with this. Well, I have been. I, I, I noticed that the judges tend to be pretty brutal when it comes to, uh, you know, how much color do you have in your image? And I'm like, well, gee, not enough, apparently. <laughs> uh, so that's been kind of a kind of a rough thing. Are you but blaming the judges? No, no, no. I would never. I would never do that. Oh my heavens! Well, I don't want to give away what people are doing. I'm just discussing. Uh, I see kind of. Um, I see what people are doing to kind of bring the feeling out in some of these images. And interesting. Again, I don't want to kind of give away what they're doing because I don't want to talk directly to the images. That's all right. I did that same. I, I well, gave away. All right. So I, I think Jeff's image is interesting because it feels very concert uh, to me. Like it was, you know, I expect this to be the uh, the next. So when Jim Morrison actually, <laughs> you know, shows, you know, comes out of hiding and releases a new album, this is going to be one of the covers, you know. Totally expect that to be uh, the new. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> He's going to throw over doors, I guess. <laughs> yes, yes. Inspiration, right? Yes, there. it's it's totally screaming doors to me right now. Like, uh, uh, but I just I just like the way that it's punchy and and it, the way that it feels there. Uh, Scott, I like I actually really like the way you you selectively desaturated your image. I think that's really creative. Um, I I like I like the way that feels. And I could, I could, uh, I could do all right if I this style of editing, huh? What do you think? Absolutely. Well, we know we know you're no slouch, you know. I actually think it's kind of fun that you're participating in it as well. Uh, I don't know. What was he talking about? Truly, Lowe is staring at that statue, yes, eating one for apple pear combinations. <laughs> um. 
Yeah, just kind of looking for an inside track here as to where to go with these images. It's kind of nice to, to do this, too, because you get to view what everyone else is. Well, I tend to keep a window open anyway, uh, just to, because I kind of like to watch the show as I'm in it. I just think it's interesting to see what people are doing. And uh, although I tend to kind of go off on left field anyway, it's neat to see the creativity. And, and uh, I like to watch the show later, too, just to kind of go back and say, hey, this, that was a neat idea. You know, you learn from these things, too. I and mean, everybody's got all these great ideas to bring to the table. You know, you can't walk into it and expect to know it all. And, you know, having an open mind to these kinds of things is great. Um, I got one image that I have to do yet, and I have two minutes of talking left, so... It's all right. Jeff's got two minutes left. <laughs> That's all right. I I'm, I'm, think I'm done. Yeah, I'm not even going to get a chance to edit this one, I don't think. It's just going to be uh, too tough. Well, I wish I had an extra ten minutes. If I had ten more minutes, man, you should, you should consider letting us, giving us ten more minutes. How are we doing on the time? How many more minutes do we have left to edit? Uh, well, we have 11 minutes left in the in the show, and I've got two more pictures to edit. I spent way too long on this one. Let's see the before and after on this. I'll give people a sneak peek. So there's after. And here's before. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Play with the curve a little bit. All right, Scott, you gave up on us. You're, you're. Uh, yeah, sorry, I, I quit talking. So everyone else started talking. <laughs> well, you are back on the clock in ten seconds. I'm back on the clock for what? To edit. You got ten more minutes of editing. Oh. I'm just yeah. kind of sitting here watching. I, I actually, I think you're, uh, I liked your picture before. You've kind of taken it, in my opinion, too far now, but that's. Uh, uh, with adding in a little bit of extra color back in? I, I liked where you were going. But again, I, I'm more of a desaturated fan. I just really liked where you had. I was actually kind of sitting there going, wow, I really like that picture. But now, yeah, I, I, I think it's too far for me personally, but that's just me. Well, I'm just adding, uh, throwing in a few uh, brushes here and there that do just random different things. You can get away with that sort of stuff in this. But, yeah. That's my story. Stick Jeff. Jeff. Yes, let me pull out of the screen share here and... But I, I like the feedback and I think I'll take what you're saying and do the opposite since no one likes your desaturated crap. That's right. <laughs> that is why I lost last week. All right, let's see. I think I'll return the favor and go to Scott real quick. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> and Joanna, just real quickly, <laughs> you can also look at the comments and ans answer some of the questions and stuff like that if you want, Jeff. Everyone yeah, let, that, let me look into that real quick. Anyways, um, Joanna was, was asking if anyone's using Strictly Lightroom, and I think me and Al are both doing that, right? Yep. In addition to that, I'd like to ask, is who's using Lightroom 4? Because I know for the last couple of weeks, some of us have played around with it. There was a little hesitation due to the fact that it was beta software. Has anybody using, changed their opinion? I'm using 4 right now. I'm using 4 at the moment. Uh, 4. Simply because uh, 3 was misbehaving earlier, so I just didn't want to take any chances. So um, speaking And I tell you, it's, it's actually slightly challenging because um, for... I know what I want to do to an image and how to get it there, but not quite used to it in 4, and 4 is giving me different results, so I'm actually ending up um, spending more time on um, sort of getting close to what I'm, what I'm envisioning. Um, but other than that, it works like a champ. It's, you know, and it is a little bit slow. It, it's, a, it's a beta. Um, for, for, for me, I think I've been in it for the last two weeks, probably. I don't know. Has it been out for two weeks? Ever since it came out, I've been trying to use it exclusively, and maybe I've just gotten used to the fact that it's a little bit slow, but it seems to have gotten a little bit better. I know that's... It is. It is a bit slow. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. I'm going to go to a question from hey, the... Go hey, ahead. Go to my picture, my awesome picture here. So is that, is that a white vignette <laughs> that I see? Is that oh yeah, going old cool <laughs> white vignette? 
Um, you don't see that often anymore. It's, no, it's probably a reason for that. <clears throat> no, I, you know, you know, I, I want to see. I want to see some sort of silhouette inside of that, maybe carved in mother of pearl or ivory. I'm actually going to write on it. You're going to write. You're, you're going to add text. Yeah. You're gonna. Oh, you're gonna brush the text in. So that I think that's probably a good way to go. Uh, was this question answered from the? Um, I want to say chat room, but from the comments, it says, uh, Scott Jerry, how do you keep your lenses clean at this event? Uh, is that something you already answered? Uh, I have put that on uh, my recent post about the Festival of Colors. Okay, so they can find that on your Google Plus page. Uh, yes, they can. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go over to Wait, Shirley. Is that is that you with the blues on the on the right hand side? <laughs> yes, it is. And what, can you talk a little bit about what you're doing here? my picture. <laughs> right, so I, I, I'm not quite getting the effect that I wanted to feel for the red. I, it's almost, I, the feeling I got before with the red is like she was being engulfed in, or he, she, person, was being engulfed in flames. So I just want to play around with the color to see what's happening. There's something just kind of eerie about it. I'm trying to see, maybe they want that. I'm just still trying to get a feel for this photo here and... Seeing what color fits. It Maybe. feels very much like this is underwater almost. You see the uh, the particles on the left almost yeah, feel like right. bubbles. Yeah, so I, I like where you're going with that. And you know what, I think we'll pull away from that and let you work on it without um, <laughs> the uh, the camera looking down on you. Let's go ahead and go over to uh, Detweiler here and see what he's doing with the statue. Just finished. Just a tad over five minutes, people. That took <laughs> That edit took way too long. Pick me. Uh, the smiley face is a nice touch. I think that it'll play to the heartstrings of the uh, voters. I think I think you have a, a chance for that one. <laughs> All right, Scott. Let's go. Let's go to the statue here with that. Let's see what he did here because yeah, it looks like you looks like you added in a bit. Um, from another image, or is that all from the original raw that we're looking at? Here? Nope. I uh, did a mashup. I grabbed the uh, grabbed the background from the uh, the hand picture and threw it behind the statue to get rid of the uh, the crowd. I see everyone else is, was heading toward black, and I decided to go the completely opposite direction with it. So, um, trying to maximize on a little bit of of what is interesting here and back away from the stuff that I think. Oh, is look good. at you! That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to take it a different direction. You know, sometimes I I got uh, I got some flack from people. You last waited week. for us to 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 reveal our hand, and then you're like, okay, now I know it. I'll do it. <laughs> and, uh, actually, I kind of planned this in the beginning, but it was uh, it was uh, it was solidified <laughs> by what I saw for sure. No, I, last last Go week ahead. I got some flack from people who were like, you know, uh, you know, what's uh, you know, you're you kind of take your editing to the point where you're changing what was really there, you know, and you're you're no longer you know working to the where spirit of. Uh, hmm. Where was this black from? It was on one of the pictures. The uh, just had button the pictures and those people. Uh, and and they weren't wrong. I mean, you know, but I said, you know, the thing about this competition is it's not so much a matter of who does the best edit. You have to differentiate yourself from the rest of the iron editors as well, and you've only got. Well, in this case, 40 minutes to to do something unique enough to get people to vote for it. And if they all look similar, you know, uh, your chances of winning are not great. So I've kind of rolled the dice and said, let's just go with something that's so extremely different that you, know, you either love it or you hate it. And uh, that has paid off, you know, so far on a lot of the images I've worked on. You know, they, most part, they've gone over, you know, on an average of fairly well. So uh, just kind of maintaining that that. Uh, that choice at this point. So I see you just switched over. Um, as far as you're a portrait photographer, correct? Yep. Um, when you're going in and you're looking at, I don't want to talk about necessarily your own work, but in this case, where you're looking at editing somebody else's work, you didn't shoot the image. It's not necessarily maybe the way that you would have tackled it. Um, but when you start out on an image and you, let's say it's zeroed, what is maybe the first thing that you look at within the frame to go about your editing, what's your first step? I guess I'm trying to ask. Well, I, I usually I usually look at the overall uh, the compositional elements, the balance of the image, to see if there's a crop adjustment that needs to be made or obvious crop adjustment. I will make that crop adjustment first if it's obviously wrong. If not, I'll save it till after the edit because the crop might change the mood. 
Uh, after that, I'll take it into Photoshop and I tend to zoom way out on images and look for what the eye is drawn to first, the areas of highest contrast, vibrance, uh, light, darks, things like that, and see if they're appropriate. And if they're wrong, then I need to modify the composition of the image in order to make it so the eye goes where I want it to go. Wrong, 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 wrong. wrong. Yeah, well, that's, that's why I, uh, I. That's why I'm uh, I'm doing poorly. I <laughs> <laughs> just felt like saying what you were saying. That's all. So, so Abby, what are you working on over there, Jeremy? What do you got? Dang, I've I've uh, this is one of my favorite images of all time. I've got a thirty by forty here at home, and I'm just like, do I really go there? You know what I mean? Like, do I really try something out like this? And uh, I'm trying, and I'm realizing, uh, let me go to the picture, that I might not like this vignette, and I've only got one minute and 30 seconds to uh, fix it. Is that the countdown right now, or we're yeah. at a minute and a half until the final, everybody hands down at that point? Yeah, right? so i got to really quickly erase part of it. Getting close to that one minute warning. All right. Let's go through the photo starting with Al here. Let's see oh, where you're at in the last minute. <laughs> Go with you. I know, I know. It's going to be tough okay. for you, but Al, let's go for the last minute breakdown. See where you're at. You don't have to switch the screen. Let's just hear from the contenders. Al, what, what's your I final thoughts? I'm sorry. What's my final? What's your final thought on this edit? Final you <laughs> um, on this image, I, I'm just going with the gut feeling, being that we're running out of time. So I'm not. I'm trying not to overthink it. I'm just trying to. Um, you know, convey attention and, and interest, point, point of interest, and things like that. There we go. All right, moving on to Detweiler, your final image. Are you finished? Looks like you're switching through. Are you Are you done with your edits? Yeah, I, I pretty much. I, I don't like this picture. Um, I'm, it is not, it's been the most difficult one for me since the beginning. I don't like the tone of it. Uh, it's just been really rough. I agree yeah. with you on that one. I, I definitely agree. That was one of the harder ones for me to uh, work Ten through. Ten seconds. Well. Ten seconds. Surely we'll move on to you for the last final comment while we're in time here. Looks like you've moved on. Got some crazy colors going on. What's your final thought on that one? Uh, I right, well, good. <laughs> there we go. We're done. Woo. Wow. That was stressful for the end. I, I'm <laughs> so quick and I'm just like... Uh, I'm not. I no, made I'm not I made you don't want to give us five more minutes? Five minutes? I, I don't know. HDR it really quick. No, I'm just kidding. No HDR tonight. Yeah, I think I think we need to stick with our original plan uh, there. I didn't get a chance to put a hide a squirrel anywhere. I know. You didn't put a bird on it tonight either. No, no birds. Wanted to. No birds. <laughs> oh. I would love five more minutes, but because I ruined this one. Because <laughs> I ruined this one. <laughs> but I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of this one, though. That is brilliant. See, if I had seen that first, you guys don't have a chance. Let's see what they. Uh, okay, go ahead and pick out a picture or two and uh, uh, to show us. Get it ready. And um, and uh, yeah, and then also tell us a little bit about uh, where they can uh, find more of your work and your edits and stuff like that. So shall we go with Al first? We are showing. What are we doing? We're showing. Show a picture or two. Just a picture. Uh, yeah. I gotta pick the light room back up. It's a little easier when there's only five of us, right? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, I only got to edit these three. There it is. Should we not be showing? We shouldn't be showing what we did. No, you should. You can show That's it. Fine. We're done. We can't edit anymore. Okay. Well, that's the three I got to. What? All right, oh, the blackout on that. That looks so good. A museum piece. It's at Christie's right yeah. now. <laughs> that right. looks great. Um, and you lift it up a little bit on the on the hand and everything. Yeah, why? Well, I mean, I you know, being that I'm using Lightroom Four, it's been a while. I, if this was in Lightroom Three, I, I yeah, I would, I would have had easier time. Obviously, part of knowing the tool, 
is I know the ins and outs of three, not so much on four, because I haven't played with it seriously. But the hand for me, I, I kind of wanted him to reach for the light, kind of like he wanted he wanted help to get out of all the powder. Um, and the colors are very passionate and very flamey and all that. I know everyone said there's a lot of pink, but you know, color's pretty. It's what life's all about. And my studio name is Color Drop Studio, so I, I, I'm a color nut. I, I can't help it. It's a disease. So I just wanted to play that. Nice. Anyway. All right. And wait, uh, where do you live, and where's, where, what's your website or whatever? I'm based in Washington, D.C. My website is colordropsstudios.com, or you can also... Um, I started putting some casual stuff on 500px, 500px slash color drop. Cool. Some of my commercial stuff. Jeff Reidenauer. Yes. I'm in Denver, Colorado at the moment. I'm a student, a uh, photography BA student, uh, specializing in, I guess, not specializing at this point, but uh, trying to work that out. Looks like I'll be going to Do they know now. that you took second place in the in the Iron Editors? You know, we season. talked a bunch of the other, uh, my fellow students, and we were going to join this week, and I was going to have a bank of computers behind me with seven editors ready to edit each photo ah, as yeah. a surprise. We didn't do that. We didn't think that would be fair. Um, but no, yeah, no, they, they're definitely watching, and um, they definitely follow what uh, you've been doing with, with the Iron Editors, and it's a, it's a good influence in the photography world, hey, absolutely. Quickly, while you're talking, while you're about to talk and show us a couple pictures, I'm very interested. There seems to be quite a lively discussion on the commentary, 80 or so comments. Um, I'm intrigued by uh, if, if people have seen a particular edit by a particular person that they were just, it just really stood out to them. And if they, they can write it down, then that would be really interesting to hear while we're, uh, while we're looking through some pictures. But go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, and why, and why, absolutely. Um, yeah, so I'm a student. You can find my work um, at ridenauerphoto.com. It's R-I-D-E-N-O-U-R and then photo. Um, like I said, I'm a student, so everything's kind of always evolving. My, my style is still developing, and it, you know, things like Iron Editors helps me um, work more efficiently, I think. You know, I've done this for this is the fourth week, and, and I definitely notice it affecting my day-to-day uh, -day editing style. Um, maybe because I'm not so set in my ways. But as far as these uh, five images go, I'm showing two here. One is the one of the girl crowd surfing, and the other one is of the statue. Uh, you know, I hate to pick my favorites. I'm, I'm going to go with these two. Uh, with the girl crowd surfing, I was, it felt like a magazine cover, like a, you know, if you were going to promote the event, you had talked about that a little bit earlier. I haven't seen anybody yet add text, so I added a little bit of text. I don't yeah. know whether that's good or bad. Um, escape. Escape. Uh, I believe that's <laughs> French. Um, it's maybe French. Italian. I don't know. Um, it's a foreign escape language. Key. I, I Escape key. Escape, escape ape. Escape ape. The escape oh, ape. That's a um, Nemo reference. Absolutely. <laughs> escape ape. Escape. And then the, then the second one, you know, I add a little bit of a gradient map on this. I, I'm not going to lie something that uh, Scott definitely had talked about in one of them, and I've been playing around with more. Uh, what, what did he talk about? What was it? The gradient map and throwing uh, some <laughs> of the blues into the shadows. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to give him credit where credit's due. It's something that you know, I've looked at his work, and I've played around with it, and I might have overdone it here, but it's definitely uh, it's a good technique, and it's something that definitely brings, especially in this situation, allows the other colors to pop. So, Scott, thank you. Yeah, I, I love gradient map. Huge, a huge fan, and it's one of those unsung tools people don't just pick up. Kind of like Dissolve. I'm kidding about Dissolve. So, by, the way, Scott, by the way, Scott, you're, you're, for a second. <laughs> you're up, Scott. By the way, so uh, okay. Well, here's here's the photo I I dislike the most was the the crowd surfing one. It just I couldn't get the photo anywhere that I was happy with it. I worked on the crop, which. Uh, there was a bit of wiggle room there, so I was happy with it. Uh, a couple things about this photo that, that bother me, aside from the just the red shift in general, is this this tree growing out of her stomach. My eye sees that vertical line there, and I wish it wasn't there. Uh, so I like uh, I like Jeff's edit quite a bit because it's it's completely blown out in his version, so it doesn't cause the visual distraction that it's causing me here. Um, so it's one of those things I wish I had time to fix. That would be the next thing. It's just Clone, clone that tree Scott. out of there. Scott, um, by the way, 
uh, I'm told that uh, that you uh, never answered Sandra Parlow's question from last week. What was it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I have no I idea. Don't, I don't know. Sa okay. Sandra, what, what was your question? I will uh, happily gleefully... Do you have another one to show us, Scott? Hmm? Do you have another one to show us? Uh, well, the one, I, I have a sleeper one that I'm saving for later. Um, I'll Let's show you... I'll show this one. This is uh, I like this one quite a bit. I think this one turned out really well, and it was one of those that I I thought, okay, I'm going to replace the background, and I immediately gravitated to the one with the hand because there's so much uh, just you know amorphous kind of shapes to it. I'm like, it would be a perfect one to be able to stretch and form and not have to worry about clone stamping out the hand or anything else that's there. I just squished it around and tucked it behind the statue um, and then made sure the tonal, the tonal ranges of the two match so that it doesn't look like it's a, a completely fake background. That's, that's one of the problems, I think, in, in quick composition. You've got to make sure you don't have a, a tonal mismatch or it looks like something is standing, you know, just kind of pasted in front of it. Um, about the birds and the photos, I never answered you. <coughs> Oh, the, the birds were done uh, quickly with a, uh, a just a picture of some birds, um, and there were uh, some clouds and a sky, and it was it was not a uh, a clean image, meaning it wasn't shot against a blue or a white sky. It was just kind of a messy bird picture. But the birds are way darker than the sky, so I used the blip control. So I just pasted the the the, um, the birds into the picture, and then used blend if to blend if the birds were darker than the underlying layer and just move that uh, control over until only the birds are visible and walk away from it. It took totally about 10 seconds really to put the birds on there and it was a matter of scaling them to fit them in the tree. In fact, and if, you're wondering, if you're wondering, this will be on YouTube so you can go ahead and uh, go back and repeat and listen to that a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, uh, we actually... Stuff. Well, we actually get together, you know, sometimes afterwards, a few of us, and kind of talk about what we did and, and some of the strategies we had, and we, you know, learn from each other and, and get some great tips and so on. And, and I got asked about the birds, and I sh quickly how I did it uh, using Blend If. And Blend If is one of the layer options. If you double click on a layer, it's down near the bottom. It's that uh, those sliders that seem so alien. Um, holding down your Alt key is the secret, or your Option key is the secret to using those. And that was that was really instead of having to try and use selective color or uh, s select those birds out, which would have taken too long, Blend It was perfect uh, because it just took no effort, and then it was a matter of scaling the layer and walking away from the picture. Cool. On to Shirley. Yes. So for this image. He was a really interesting character because his shades are definitely different and they do draw attention, but at the same time, he's hiding behind it. So there's this duality of wanting to be seen, wanting to be known, wanting attention, but at the same time kind of concealing his identity. So that's the kind of uh, character trait that I want to show through this photo. And so to emphasize that more, we only see a part of his face because obviously we don't know all about him, yet it's close. So it's actually intimate yet far because we have to guess about the rest of him. And that was the idea that I had behind this photo. Sweet. So philosophical. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Mm. Oh, yeah, and I'm on Google Plus as well, and I love the site and all the wonderful people, including, you know, Al and Jeff and Detweiler and Jarvie, and it's a great community here. We all learn and grow and have lots of fun together. Sweet. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot to mention my website. Can I throw that in there real fast? No, oh, you missed your chance. <laughs> Bucko. My bird. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. It's, uh, it's just my name. It's S-E and then Detweiler, D E T. W E I L E R dot com. So S E Detweiler dot com. And it's just basically my uh, my works as I get them. I, I post them up there. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. <laughs> I was acting out. I was responding to your. Uh... You were awesome. <laughs> I'm going to export these now. <laughs> you're on this like export screen, so I didn't want to show you. No, I, well, I'm, I'm officially putting my foot down. These are done, and they should be exported already, but I was talking. Export them. You know the, you know the drill, 1,800 pixels? Yep. So oh, I have a preset uh, preset yeah. export for you. I'll so make sure that uh, they get on there correctly this time. There will be fewer. How many How many pictures? Al, how many? I'm going to have three, I believe. Three plus Jeff? Yep. All five. Eight. 
plus Scott, uh, five. Thirteen plus Shirley. Five. <laughs> Eighteen and me twenty-three and the originals twenty-eight. <laughs> the originals have yet to win many competitions. <laughs> that would be a slap in the face. Yeah, yeah. Turn in that whacking pin. Yeah. yeah. They'd get votes though every time. Become a professional <laughs> golfer at that point. Yeah. But but here's the thing: the festival of colors. There's so much dust, colored dust in the air that you you have to edit these pictures because the contrast is so low. Did you guys notice that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. The before and after of that hand picture is like out of this world. All you have to do is add black or contrast or work on the tone curve, and then it's like a whole new picture. So, anyways. I hope you enjoyed it this week, and everyone uh, watching back at home enjoyed it as well. We had fun, didn't we, boys and girls? We did indeed, always. as always. And since hey. we have a hundred uh, comments on the on the post, I think it's uh, about time to go, huh? If uh, if anyone's interested, I could do a quick hangout afterwards and show the um, how oh, I did that play. I can join into that as well if anybody has any questions. So. <laughs> okay. I'll start one after this. All right. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining in to Iron Editors, episode number five. We've had a great time and we have uh, enjoyed editing the Festival of Colors picture. Remember, it is, you can come to the Festival of Colors the 23rd to the 25th of March here in Utah. On the 23rd, on the Friday, we will be going around the state a little bit, taking some fun pictures, and then we will be uh, enjoying ourselves with the Festival of Colors. So bring your old clothes and uh, come join us and uh, do one of the most fun, exciting things in photography you will do in your life. Seriously. <laughs> What what are the life changing the events that I will never I won't miss? It's just too much fun. I enjoy it too much. Too much um, anyway, and then uh, we will see you again. I will be going on vacation, uh, well, a working vacation, and we'll see if I can't uh, find uh, internet to make it a possibility. And if not, uh, we will see what's going on and just stay tuned for the announcements. And with that, a happy editing to you all. Bye. 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 Good night, everyone. <laughs>